Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. In today's video, we have an important update, and the reason is because you are expecting prices to go on the bearish side. Instead, that has not happened. So we, in today's video, we are going to look at it that what is the probable cause, why it, why it did not happen, and what other things are expected. Uh, I'll try to discuss the Nasdaq, Dow Jones, uh, S&P 500. We'll uh, look at if we can make sense of FTSE and Nifty and DAX, and uh, then crude oil, uh, gold and silver, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. All right. So we might not spend uh, we not, might not spend time on crude oil. I'll see if I can glance it quickly and provide an analysis. I have spent uh, today's evening on NASDAQ, Dow Jones and S&P. We'll do a quick uh, look on it. Let's see if we can find a quickly uh, some analysis of it. And then we'll uh, do a detailed analysis of gold, silver, Bitcoin, Ethereum. We'll also look at Forex pairs that includes our um, Euro, British Pound and Canadian Dollar. So let's go one by one. There's an important change in the in the labeling and you'll find out what I'm talking about. First of all, uh, let's bring out here, uh, as you guys are a member of it, let me bring, uh, what chart? Let me bring Ethereum, okay? Let me bring first Ethereum. Actually, we'll take it one by one, all right? Just follow this one. We'll do it one by one. Uh, so let's see what's going on. The reason uh, that I'm uh, doing today's analysis is one important reason is because uh, we were expecting for the price to continue on from over here. I did uh, provide a management, uh, sorry, a horizontal support. That support is yet not broken. So what does that mean? Wh what's happening right now? Uh, you, you guys remember that we were expecting for the prices to go up. Uh, now the prices are expected to go a little deeper. So there is a little... Um, now I believe that we have completed a 5F structure right over here too. The price has uh, crossed an important point right now. We're expecting for this to go all the way right over here in this region. All right. So now we're expecting for it to go in this region. The bullish move that we're expecting that we have seen today is expected to be, uh, you know, for another two, three days. And then we're expecting for the push to go further down. That would also indicate that we have completed the five wave structure here. All right. That would also indicate that we have completed a five wave structure over here. And this W, X, Y, X, Z, or whatever you want to call it, is going to further down. Let me have a look on hourly time frame. Let's see, uh, four hourly time frame, if we can find the pattern quickly. All right. So right now, I'm considering this price movement that we are expecting a solid price movement going upward. In that case, we can still consider it as an A, a B, and C, but we will definitely have to adjust the labeling all right in that case we can call it that three is still going on still and the five is expected to be in that area right over here and c is expected to be in that area one is complete right over here too there is a possibility that we have uh, i'm not sure if we can actually compare that how it's going to come over right over here let's do a quick analysis of the comparison and then we can actually discuss whether it is actually wave three or not. So wave three definitely seems to be this part of the wave definitely seems to be uh, longer as compared to wave one. So we can uh, call it as wave three. There's a possibility that we are going to go up and see a correction and then we can call it three and four and five. But for now, we can definitely call it at three. It still is a valid count for three, four and five right over here too. Uh, the uh, the support line that we have drawn right over here, we need to adjust that support line to right over here too. So I'm expecting a push upward further. All right. Uh, this is uh, purely uh, uh, some of the studies that I've done on GAN analysis, uh, which is now giving us an a further push upward is uh, expected in in as a U.S. Nasdaq 100. All right. Let's have a look at Dow Jones and see where Dow Jones is expected to create. So as you guys can see, we already are seeing even the overnight chart is looking uh, more kind of bullish. So as far as labeling is concerned, we'll have to, let me leave that labeling. Okay, we'll look at the labeling again. And then let's have a look at the chart itself, okay. D 
daily chart so we can actually see where the different important points are <laughs> somewhere in this region okay we expecting to be bullish in this region it can go further down uh, it can go further up a bit but for now we're expecting it to be somewhere in this region give me a moment this is a more valid push for next few days alright so we're expecting for the price to go further down and with such a deep uh, price movement, we are expecting that the 5F structure that actually started over here is complete. And this is a, the correction of the whole structure right now. Alright. So you guys can definitely look at an hourly time frame. It will actually provide some reasoning. Alright. We can definitely use the previous support uh, to go long. Give me a moment. So we can definitely use this structure area, which is the previous stop for support loss, a uh, stop loss area. I mean, all right. And then we're expecting for the prices to create massive price movement on the upside, right over here in that direction. And for now, this is our target. Uh, hopefully, we'll be <coughs> seeing a positive movement in next two days, and then I'll be able to see more detailed analysis and we will be able to look at it we definitely need a revision of the labeling of the Elliott wave analysis in this regard S&P 500 let's see what's looking S&P 500 uh, if you guys remember this is what we were discussing earlier we were expecting uh, for the chart the chart to be bearish and then I gave this analysis but I also provided the horizontal support that horizontal support has yet not broken uh, we need to confirm right now that the way the prices are acting is is not uh, coming along with our analysis uh, of bearish side all right so and that only thing is giving a structure that the bearish the bullish price movement is uh, giving an indication that it's a strong price movement that is indicating that we have completed a five wave structure starting from the top to over here and this correction that's going on is correcting the whole one so next two three days are going to be bullish on S&P 500 once again uh, I'm completely deleting the structure right over, uh, I mean the labeling right over here we need to redo this all right let's have a look at let me increase the chart a bit and I can provide you the, the important all right so here we see now that we are expecting price to be right over here in this region next couple of days are expected to be cre create a, a stronger bullish move for S&P 500 here as well okay and then we definitely need we definitely need to create a new trend line let me see if I can bring it on hourly time frame and then it's already on auto here same exactly we can definitely use the previous uh, structure right over here the immediate structure as a stop loss area we are expecting for the price to continue st upward in the upward direction our target for here is 4395 uh, for S&P index FTSE has given us a break on the bearish side and we can see right now the prices are looking a little more they already have been really choppy okay so let me have a quick look all right this is expected to be more bu uh, bullish now our immediate target is right over here for FTSE our immediate target is right in this region all right be really careful we'll have to uh, do the reanalysis uh, as per Elliott wave analysis uh, for now just stay on the, the technical side uh, there is indication under WD GAN studies that we are expecting bullish price movement in FTSE 
and the next target is going to be right over here 7660 this is a bullish for FTSE let's have a look at nifty okay give me a moment with nifty we do not have a lot of uh, uh, area left we can push it forward right over here this is our target zone for nifty we expect it to see uh, nifty to be on the positive side and once again that will give us an indication that we have to consider this as one two three four and five and we can expect for the price uh, the structure to be broken right over here the support line is going to be get broken in that regard we are going to confirm that our fifth wave is complete right over here give me a quick look one two this is three we can call it as two right over here this is wave four and, and this is our wave five right over here and this is our wave one and this price behavior is going to still positive and we're expecting to create a top along wave four all right in the next couple of days we are going to be bullish on the upside if you want to create a trading setup you can definitely use the previous structure which is right over here all right so nothing has still for we still have some price movement we can definitely use this uh, just two three points below it as a stop loss and we're expecting for the price to continue upward i already given you guys the target for nifty which is eighteen thousand one hundred and 15, 118, 120 area. And DAX is pretty interesting. I did not have a chance to look at DAX. Let's have a look at what the DAX is saying. the lower band of the the target is this the upper band of the target is right over here and the middle band of the target is right over here okay so we can use this there is expectancy there is a quite a possibility that we are going to see uh, the uh, target hit at the lower band of this uh, price area that we have we have once again if you guys pay attention uh, we have one target here one target over here so I have brought the same amount of price further down to indicate a possible truncation all right and that once again is going to enable us uh, to that we need to redo the labeling uh, wave 4 wave 5 structure is probably complete right over here this is a b and c structure and then we are expected to go down we can definitely use the previous this area as uh, you can do use this area as stop loss area two three points maybe ten points below it as a stop loss area we can cr we can delete this now and this is what you are looking at right now all right let's have a look at crude oil crude oil the for now it looks like we have created uh, some sort of support around the previous uh, uh, the support area this is an important indication that there is a possibility that we are expected to see price upward I'm not really so confident about the structure itself so we we'll leave it for now there's a high possibility uh, that we are gonna go upward right over here and maybe struck strike this area okay so there's a possibility that we're going to go in this region uh, but still i will have to wait for the completion of the structure to see what's actually happening for now uh, if there is a weaker call we are expected to see price upward i'm not expecting for the price to continue downward from over here so we need to see the completion of this target are we going to see double top with this one which will make it a triple top and let's see how it behaves and then we'll continue the analysis from maybe in two three days with the with crude oil gold is very important okay give me a moment
the larger does that mean that the larger move that maybe you're expecting in uh, in stock market in in gold and silver is going to happen that definitely is going to happen only the small time frame analysis is a bit uh, you know as you guys can see probably that I spent the time for revision of the the data because the price was not behaving the reverse expecting it to be so I redid some analysis and realized that our small time frame analysis is needs to be a little uh, needs to be corrected a little okay So could there be a possibility that we are going to go up all the way to create a double top with this one? There is a possibility and that we are going to be bo bullish on gold. And I've already shown you guys that what important areas are. We have not yet broken that area. We can definitely bring that to right over here, which is uh, 1764. All right. I'm expecting for the price to go on the downside, but where exactly this swing is going to uh, end is the important one. Uh, the price structure is a bit more clear in stock indices, but for gold, we'll have to wait a little. All right, Th the way the price is going on, I'm expecting that we are going to go upward in next two three days, and then we'll start coming down. So for now, gold uh, has to. I would say we would leave it alone, right? S to understand because there is a possibility we can see reversal. If we see the prices uh, drop below 1764, that's definitely a concern. Actually, we should bring it back right over here, which is 1754. That's definitely a concern. There's a possibility that we have created a peak. But uh, more recently, as you guys can uh, see, that we have seen gold moving along with the stock market. So there's quite a possibility that we'll be positive on gold for next two, three days. And we expect to see bullish price movement in gold. Uh, for now, I'll just omit because we have similar commentary for silver. What is the most interesting part is crude uh, is uh, cryptocurrency. Back in a uh, few days ago, I think maybe a week ago, I told you guys that we were expecting for the price to go upward. Uh, then we had we were expecting that weakness, but weakness did not come. So what's ex what's expected right now? Uh, the swing is yet not complete. The the call that we had made. Uh, is was a little premature that the price movement is complete so I'm expecting right now that the behavior that we have still started from the bullish behavior will still actually continue on for next few days as you guys are aware of it that Bitcoin and Ethereum and other cryptocurrency actually moves along uh, with the stock market so we're expecting a bullish move in crypto uh, in stock market and I'm expecting a similar bullish move in in cryptocurrency here so next uh, two three days are going to be very interesting. Uh, thirty thousand points. I'm expecting Bitcoin to hit thirty thousand in the uh, next few days. Let's have a look at Ethereum. Ethereum is already showing, as you guys can see, it has broken that resistance. So I'm expecting Ethereum to continue upward. There's definitely an indication that we are to see price movement going upward. A lot of strength is expected in Ethereum as compared to uh, Bitcoin. I would not be surprised if we can see Ethereum push around 3,000 uh, in the next two, three days. Let's see how, how it is going on. Let's have a look at, uh, and I have a clear analysis for Forex. Let's have a look at Euro. So I'm expecting that the call that we gave for Euro, that you are to see a double top coming, there, that's coming right now. In the next two, three days are going to be bullish for Euro. Uh, the reason is because I did some calculations on time and that did not go well. So this is happening right now. We are bullish on Euro and we are seeing uh, bullish price movement in, in Euro. Let's have a look on an hourly time frame and actually 15 minute chart time frame is good enough. Yeah, so I'm expecting a bullish price movement in Euro and the target already uh, already has been given to you guys. 
uh, let's have a look at two hourly time frame so we can actually develop some so uh, this is what I'm expecting that we can actually use this region uh, for going long as you guys can see we have an impulsive we have seen a correction prices went on cross this resistance right now is falling back and it's creating a top right on the previous top so this is definitely definitely bullish uh, you can definitely use the previous structure uh, support as a stop loss area maybe two three points below it and then we're expecting for the price to create a double top uh, with this one right over here is this this one or let's have a look at a four hourly time frame right over here yeah so this is our target for euro next two three days are going to be um, bullish for euro as soon as this swing completes then we'll start falling down further from from over here but right now this string is not complete yet British pound is a similar analysis we have not completed the the swing yet so I'm expecting that we already kind of completed the uh, the top around over here so we're expecting for the price to continue upward right over here and make give us a, a top somewhere in, in this region um, which will be creating a double top with this one right over here all right maybe few points below but this is our target zone for uh, British pound and I'm bullish on uh, British pound although uh, we made a call and it did, did not go well so this uh, call was made I think a week ago I told you guys that you're expecting a bullish price movement in euro in uh, stock market in Bitcoin that did not happen and the time study that I did did not go well that means that the trend actually is still going on it has not ended and we are still expected to see bullish price movement in forex against US dollar here is uh, our Canadian dollar uh, we are expecting for the price to go further down and there is a possibility that we are going to see a double bottom with this one so Canadian dollar is expected to be creating a strong price movement against US dollar I do understand um, uh, probably a lot of you guys are probably a little frustrated the whole reason I made today's analysis is to provide some uh, early analysis as soon as I could and the reason is because the prices are not moving we still have uh, quite a strong price movement left so uh, this is part of analysis you look at the market you do provide analysis and you keep observing when the price does not move uh, as you think you have to redo your analysis wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye